Clara's Crazy Curls. Little Clara May was very, very small. But what was most extraordinary was her hair was very tall. She didn't need a pencil case, a school bag, or a lunchbox. Instead, she stored her gear and her big, strong, curly locks. But Clara often wished that her hair could reach the skies, the tallest hair in all the world, and maybe win a prize. One night in the bathroom, Clara spied a jar up high. The label read, Big and beautiful hair, guaranteed in just one try. Clara reached and grabbed the jar without a second thought. But she didn't use a little dab. Instead, she used a lot. That night, while she was tucked in bed, Clara never knew that while she lay there sleeping, her hair grew and grew and grew. When Clara woke next morning, she was on the bottom stair. She's been slowly and quietly pushed out of bed by her crazy curly hair. Yippee! she yelled. It worked! Hooray! Good grief! her mother cried. How on earth could hair grow so much? I don't know, Clara lied. Outside, the birds all snuggled in their brand new curly nest. Clara smiled and beamed with pride. Her curls were now the best. Her hair was extra useful now. She rescued cats from trees. She cleaned out gutters on each house. Her neighbors were quite pleased. Ooh. And way up high in outer space, aliens clapped and cheered. A planet made of tickly curls was suddenly appeared. Back on Earth came crowds and crowds. They couldn't help but stare. Clara was now famous. People loved her crazy hair. But in between among the clouds, that's where trouble stuck. Airplanes couldn't cross the curls. Hot air balloons got stuck. The problems grew at Clara's school. Her friends couldn't see at all, unless she sat at the very back alone against the wall. Even worse was a trip to the movies, where her curls filled up the room. Her friends couldn't see the movie, and Clara hey. was filled with gloom. Come on! Clara walked home all frustrated. She felt like a terrible friend. She wished her hair was no longer so tall. She wanted the fuss to end. Mom, I'm sorry I lied to you. I used all your fancy hair cream. I only wanted my curls to grow. That was my curly hair dream. I'm glad you told the truth, said Mom, and she quickly grabbed the phone. Don't worry, my dear. This is easily fixed. I'm calling Mrs. Malone. Mrs. Malone and her hair cutting team went to work on that crazy hair. They snipped and they clipped and they chopped and they looped. And it floated off into the air. Clara realized that having tall hair, the tallest hair in the world, wasn't as great as she dreamed it would be. She was happy with shorter curls. Her hair was still taller than average. She didn't feel gloomy or grim. She still used it to store all her school things. And went every week for a trim. And often at night, Clara wondered, hmm. what happened to all that hair? Was it out there up high, coiling and curling, still floating in the air?